The lines y equals x minus 2 and x plus y equals 10 are drawn on the grid, so they're both labelled, that's good. On the grid, mark with a cross each of the points with an integer coordinates that are in the regions defined by. y is bigger than x minus 2. Okay, it's uh, less than 10 and x is bigger than 3. Three. So I haven't got a line to represent x is bigger than 3. So I'm going to draw that one on first. Uh, x is equal to 3 here. So if I have that line with the equals first, it shows me roughly the area I'm allowed to work in. So I want bigger than 3. So it's somewhere on the right-hand side of this line. So I'm actually going to shade out the area I don't want. That's useless. Don't want you. Uh, x plus y, which is this line is less than 10 so under the line is what I want any value that's less than 10 so it means that all of this is useless and the final part y is bigger than x minus 2 so it's a b above this line so if I don't want this area here either I'm allowed any of the points inside this little triangle um, it wants integer coordinates which means whole numbers Therefore, it could only be the points which lie on the lines, which means there's one there, there's one there, one there, and one there. There are four points which lie on integer coordinates that match all three of those equations.